We want to share this with you uh, related to a degree. Five years ago, little Caden Sprague had lost his dad. His dad was a police officer killed by a hit and run driver in Texarkana. Today, now almost 10 years old, he got the surprise of a lifetime from people he's never met. CBS 11's Brooke Rogers was there. It's all new at 4 30. Double digits are a big milestone for any kid, but for Caden Sprague, it represents more than candles. Caden realized that at 10, he would be living longer without his dad in heaven than with his dad on earth. He was four and a half when Officer Jason Sprague with the Texarkana Police Department was killed. And so for his 10th birthday, the Cowboys fan asked to see his team's stadium. And that's where the Texas Municipal Police Association got involved. They said, for the son of a fallen officer, we can do better than an empty stadium. I got a lot more than that. <laughs> Thursday morning, Caden and his family flew to California, where they'll attend Cowboys training camp as VIP guests. He's going to be treated kind of as the king of spring training camp when he gets out there. I was speechless. That's probably the best thing in my life that, like, the, I've been wanting to go there forever and actually meet the players in person. Autographs and swag await, but the signature he coveted the most, number 82, was presented to him before he even boarded the plane. There's Jason Witten's autograph for you. It's amazing. Donations from police officers around the state, as well as Southwest Airlines and Dallas Moving and Storage, ensure that all expenses of the four day jaunt are covered. Caden's mom says it's a gift that honors both her late husband's sacrifice and her son's. He cried when we told him. When he cried, I just I knew this was the moment that we were turning over our page and we're we're choosing joy and we're leaving the anger behind and and it's a journey. Brooke Rogers, CBS 11 News. Moving forward, and just so you know, the Cowboys actually asked Caden's mom to kind of quietly send ahead of the trip an empty bag. And, and let me fill you in, if you don't know, and all of you out there, they wanted to send the empty bag because Caden is going to get loaded up with so much swag. He is going to need an extra bag over his four days that he's going to enjoy here in Oxnard. It's it's amazing. His smile. I mean, yeah. his smile was so big. Yeah. It's just so touching. It's it's the resilience of kids that makes us you know feel feel good down the road when something so bad has happened and their strength often makes us a little bit stronger. Right. Does it not? It's so yeah. true.